Hi, my name is Jack. If you go ahead and pause the video right now, the spinning donut will disappear. In this video, I'll explain how these effects work and what you can do with them. And if you stay till the very end, I'll show you a really cool 3D pop out effect. All of the code is in a GitHub repo, which is linked in the description. This sliding effect is pretty simple, and it's created with two rules. First, if a pixel is going to be moved, it takes the value of a neighboring pixel. And second, if that neighboring pixel isn't also going to be moved, we use a random value instead. That second rule is to prevent the same pixel from being moved multiple times in a row, which would look like this. The random values prevent repeating patterns from forming. By changing which neighboring pixel is taken, we can also change the direction of the sliding. I like this effect a lot more than the one I showed off in my previous video because it's a lot easier to look at. This colorful cycling effect is really similar to the black and white one I showed off in my previous video. If you want to know more about how the cycling works, you should definitely go watch it. The only difference between the two is that the color one has two variables that cycle. Value, which is for the brightness, and hue, which controls the color. The red channel controls the value. If I look at this red cube, you'll notice that only the value of the pixels change. The green channel, on the other hand, controls the color. If I look at this green cube, you'll notice that only the color of the pixels change. Now, looking at this yellow cube, you'll notice that both the color and value of the pixels change. This is because to get yellow, you combine red and green light. There are also a few parameters that you can adjust, like the number of value steps, which I keep at 2, because any higher makes it look muddy. Now, I'll show off some of the cool visuals you can get with these effects. If you want to replicate any of these yourself, the demo project is on the GitHub repo. When you clear the noise and stare at the spinning donut, it sort of creates an outline of itself. It's really satisfying to watch. You can also adjust how often the noise slides. This thing spins one time per second, so if the noise only updates one time per second, it looks like it doesn't even move at all. With a few lines of code, we can make it slide back and forth, which looks like this. The colorful noise looks really cool when you clear it all. A bunch of different patterns and stuff emerge. By adjusting the amount of hue steps and the offset, we can get some pretty cool colors. So, for this 3D effect to work, all you need is a pair of sunglasses. All you have to do is put one lens of the sunglasses over your right eye. Make sure when you do this, both of your eyes are open. Once you do that, this awesome text should pop out at you. This is called the Pulfrich effect, and I found it works really well here. If you go back to parts of this video where the sliding noise is moving left, it should work. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.